This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in all right. So, people, guess which part me there? Right up a compound. And guess what I'm going up there tomorrow? Them face long. Right up. Loan swell face. I'm assuming I'm going to know why them face swell. You understand? Covid and crime are ripped through the country. Me not think so we could have managed nothing more. But guess where they are right now, my people? With 12 cases of the hand and foot and mouth disease, identified eight community in Westmoreland. The health department of the parish is appealing to school administrators and parents to be on the lookout for symptoms of the highly contagious disease amongst children. Jamaica can catch a break, people. Remember me telling everything we are going on the news, you know. The Westmoreland Health Department has assured that there is no outbreak of the disease in the parish, but said that 12 cases were identified over the past two months. Yes, people, 12 cases, them said they're having a Westmoreland, so me I tell you, no. Be on the lookout, okay? Parents, phone the time now, get around. Initial signs of the disease includes fever, Poor appetite, sore throat, and a feeling of malaise. Hold on, you know. Me know somebody going to say, My view, what is malaise? You know when the picnic come home and say, Mommy, me feel uncomfortable. Me not feel so good. Nobody feel like a diarrhea. Them have no, no, no. That's baby the disease. These symptoms generally last for one to two days before a blister-like rash appears on the hands, feet, and inside the mouth. So me tell us something now. Just be on the lookout for it and if you don't see it, you know exactly what you do. Just visit the health center. Alright, nobody scan the pit them. And nobody see them with the pit and say, well, I'm there. I go over there. See two pillars. See this and see that. Here. No, take them to the doctor. Alright, well, I'm a bit there now. Right up a white hall, my gun. There's an uneasy section of Collins Close in St. Andrew following the death of a man and investigation into his death. Nearly two weeks after the murder of Trey Beckford on December 29 in Whitehall Avenue community, the police said absolutely nothing has been unheard. Head up the St. Andrew North Police Division Superintendent Aaron Fletcher said on Monday the police has no clue who killed Beckford. But the people them know enough. Me, I know so the people them know, but them don't want to talk. Nothing at all has come to the fort or who might have taken him out. Absolutely nothing. And that the super me could know say, watch on the man. The people them not talk and then they hear them wrong about them and lift my edge. About them afraid. Where them afraid of? That is where me want to know. Since you don't know nothing, why are you not afraid? A normal man go about him normal business and get slapped with. Why not keep it at that? When we reach on the door, some of them time they don't go want to talk. We don't bother what here. Anyway, people. Rain of a fall it, light gun, water gun, and your gas done. And by the time you go some woman take out the pan for circle the road. You hear say the gas station lock and you're dead for hungry. Now your face long. I saw the maroon them face swell up about compound in the people. And guess why them face swell up? And you say. I want that to be absolutely clear. None. And under my leadership, not one inch of Jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority. Well, I write down when I think of phone in this. That statement needs to be That statement needs to be jab back, but I think back and go back in a chair and think again and come back with a different statement. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? Who is the maroon? Because we know the peace treaty we sign, you know. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Who are we signing a peace treaty? You understand what I'm saying? Bloodshed for you. Bloodshed for you, so man. I don't. Well, what the Prime Minister said, uh, he wrong, because they have read it, know that Maroon Town is a state within a state. We are a sovereign set of people, loving, kind. We lose our five Prime Minister. Whenever I speak, I say something like that about Maroon. Nothing going to win the next time, the next election. A 200 hard year of us in this. Yeah, man, in disrespect, Maroon. I will so, not feel good about it. Yeah, man. I live where I live good. Just like how we live? Just like how we live. Yeah. Peaceful. Peace and love there. Peace so and love. Why would he say something like that? Is he drinking? We need to take him to kingdom, make him find us so we are the most powerful person in this world. Not him. He need to come and apologize to us. Because we are not a gorilla. Why are you decent citizens? Is he crazy? I, I, I'm a gorilla. You can't rule this country. You can't yeah, rule this country. Look at Murder and Gone Up. 
for those who are leaders are responsible for maintaining proper communication and not allow themselves to mislead or misdirect the energies um, of a particular situation because it could be detrimental. More responsible and respectful communication because um, I've always been asking for communication and dialogue. So um, for us, it's really about ensuring that, you know, um, as leaders, we have a responsibility and um, a duty to the people to ensure that when we communicate, we communicate effectively, clearly, and also seek all measures, all, all, all measures that are available to de-escalate and address situations before they become um, otherwise. I think the first step the Prime Minister should take is apologizing to the Maroons, publicly. It's a down feeling here in Okompo, and it's only because of what the Prime Minister had said. Agree to disagree, but I agree with the Maroon them when them say they are a peaceful set of people. All so long the Maroon them never even give no bag of talking and no bag of trouble until this somebody take off, you know. This somebody when him curry, me can tell you something. Curry going to get a lot of no kill. You understand? On a need to get rid of Curry, Maroon. Can't say me never tell you. On a need to come together and get rid of Curry. Nobody watch who around him. Cause the people them been talking. I say yo, Curry have some holy political people, people, people around him and them something. That's why they must say that comment section. They can't look. I know so we now make up the story. You know. That is why them kind of friend and them something. I wanna see it based on some videos and holy part thing where they go on. Nobody look at part thing and they go on and some man come and bad up some people. I say yo, lock up this and the man must say but. Oh, curry friend, them get for key party. Oh, they never lock it off. So the people, them attack. You understand? Don't be surprised the people, them come together and get rid of them. Soon and very soon. We don't think say, them can't wait too long. Watch me, me alone if I'm going to bang on yourself. Remember, say, I'm going to turn. So I'm going to bang accordingly. So I look at thing in the news. We need to get highlights. So I could talk about it. Right down the same time, so God now. The amount of accident and go on down the same time in one little vicinity. The police, them, and the stakeholders, them, had to come out and talk. For 2021, the, the St. Anne Division would have had 36 uh, fatal collision that has claimed 38 lives. The Londuvre corridor itself has had six which has claimed eight lives. The public transport sector over the past eight years has had a minimal amount of um, fatal crashes among its members, a matter of fact, we are below 1%. Driver behavior is a major factor in most of these collisions that we have had. Poor road design, the so-called white roads, that when it rains, it gets very slippery, and the drivers have a hard time trying to control the vehicles on the road. Lack of road furniture, example, the cat size, the lighting is a major issue and also the speed signs that would warn motorists not to speed. And of course, speeding is a major issue. Most drivers don't speed enough. They move fast to ensure that they make their keep. It's unfortunate that I gave you this, that answer because if they drive um, 10 miles per hour, 20, um, of course, they will not be able to, to make a livelihood. If, if you have a proper deterrent system, and the provisions under the Road Traffic Act, when it's implemented, will provide tools to make sure that people, when they break the law, there are consequences. The fees will be increased. You can't use a cell phone unless you have a hands free instrument. You, you will be detected by cameras, so no longer this willy-nilly um, system where people drive at any speed and break the red light cynically. We are training now a team of um, first responders, and, um, and, and we, we believe that this year we're going to be having a major, major road safety um, awareness camp uh, activity engaging all stakeholders. The installation of public streetlights is very important. So that's an issue that I think we are going to be bringing back to the table for discussion. Whether the road is, is lit or not, you're using, the, you're using the corridor, it is night or it is day. We expect that you apply the necessary training that you have had as a driver. 
to maneuver the corridor safely, ensuring your safety, that of your passengers, that of the other road users. 2021, I come out and I preach it. I'm not going to stop preaching it. Take on a time on the road. I mean, I go back to the man, they don't have the depot. Stop selling some of my people, them lies. I mean, no one want the money and them look at things about. Stop selling some of them. You understand? Some people just not supposed to have the license for them on the road and drive. No, care. Top sell some of them lies. I'm not wait until I want a phone of family member them drop out, you know. Anyway, I go over to St. Thomas Town because you're right over St. Thomas. The place gets at all the people them afraid to come to school and them something there. And the principal has set a show in attendance. What's happening in, um, in Sleaford now, it makes me feel a little nervous to come to school. I don't feel comfortable at home and my grandmother is here and um, she's living in fear. To see out of that 313, we have 191 students, about maybe just 53% of the students turning out today. It is it's really disappointing and that is because of what is happening in the area. Parents are not so sure of you know, the, 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 the security uh, of their children. We ask those students who are coming from Yalas, Morant Bay, any <clears throat> from that side to um, come use the back gate. As by the time it's, it's, it's five o'clock, then it, it becomes dark. So what we would have done at present is to adjust the dismissal time. So school will dismiss each evening during this period at 4.30 to give the students you know adequate time to go to go out and to get their taxis or buses on and to get home safely. I go on right out of St. Thomas. Look how many forgot to talk about this one. Let me see the train start roll again. Yes, the train roll right out back. And as usual, somebody had to come and chat nonsense. Listen, there's a taxi driver you know. I threw my loose passenger make him come out and a chat like this. But you know. I want to tell me if you agree with him. And what he's saying makes sense. I want to tell me, okay? This is like a waste of time still, you know, but I can say it work out now. Yeah, because what you know, and it changes for children, don't it? You see them, then a generation of children come up now. Unless I put some music in that chain, because it's the music, captivate the pit in the mind. You have to have cartel and popcorn and poppy and um, ma mavado and alkaline and all them. Is that in that chain? No, it's going away. It, it come already you now and it never going away you now, so. Because, because I come back again, so you collect the fourth wave of the COVID, so make sure I go on. 